The Serbian Empire Serbian, Srpsko Karstvo Srpsko Karstvo, pronounced senior, PSKO TSA circumflex sto is a historiographical term for the empire in the Balkan Peninsula that emerged from the medieval Serbian kingdom. It was established in 1346 by King Stefan Dusan, known as the Mighty, who significantly expanded the state. Under Dusan's rule Serbia was the major power in the Balkans, and the multilingual empire stretched from the Danube to the Gulf of Corinth, with its capital in Skopje. He also promoted the Serbian archbishopric to the Serbian Patriarchate. His son and successor, Uroš the Weak, lost most of the territory hence his epithet. The Serbian Empire effectively ended with the death of Stefan V in 1371 and the breakup of the Serbian state. Some successors of Stefan V claimed the title of emperor in parts of Serbia until 1402, but the territory south of Macedonia was never recovered. History Establishment <inaudible> 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 Stefan Dusan became king of Serbia by deposing his father, Stefan Dukanski R. 1322–1331. By 1345, Dusan the Mighty had expanded his state to cover half of the Balkans, more territory than either the Byzantine Empire or the Second Bulgarian Empire in that time. Therefore, in 1345, in Ser, Dusan proclaimed himself, Tsar. Caesar. On 16 April 1346, in Skopje, he had himself crowned «Emperor of the Serbs and Greeks», a title signifying a claim to succession of the Byzantine Empire. The ceremony was performed by the newly elevated Serbian Patriarch Jonikij II, the Bulgarian Patriarch Simeon, and Nicholas, the Archbishop of Ored. At the same time, Dusan had his son Uroš crowned as king of Serbs and Greeks, giving him nominal rule over the Serbian lands, although Dusan was governing the whole state, with special responsibility for the newly acquired Roman Byzantine lands. Reign of Stefan Dusan Tsar Dusan doubled the size of his former kingdom, seizing territories to the south, southeast, and east at the expense of the Byzantine Empire. Serbia held parts of modern Bosnia and Herzegovina, Moravian Serbia, Kosovo, Zeta, modern Macedonia, modern Albania, and half of modern Greece. He did not fight a single field battle, instead winning his empire by besieging cities. Dusan undertook a campaign against the Byzantine Empire, which was attempting to avert a deteriorating situation after the destruction caused by the Fourth Crusade. Dusan swiftly seized Thessaly, Albania, Epirus, and most of Macedonia. After besieging the emperor at Salonika in 1340, he imposed a treaty assuring Serbia sovereignty over regions extending from the Danube to the Gulf of Corinth, from the Adriatic Sea to the Maritza River, and including all of Bulgaria up to the environs of Adrianople. Bulgaria had never recovered since its defeat by the Serbs at the Battle of Velbazd, and the Bulgarian Tsar, whose sister Dusan later married, became his vassal, the Second Bulgarian Empire being a Serbian vassal state between 1331 and 1365. Dusan thus ruled over the almost the entire Balkan peninsula, with only southern Greece, Salonika, and Thrace escaping his authority. He gave sanctuary to the former regent of the Byzantine Empire, John VI Kantekauzenos, in revolt against the government, and agreed to an alliance. In 1349 and 1354, Dusan enacted a set of laws known as Dusan's Code. The code was based on Roman Byzantine law and the first Serbian constitution, St. Sava's Nomocanon it was a civil and canon law system, based on the ecumenical councils, for the functioning of the state and the Serbian Orthodox Church. In 1355, Dusan began military preparations, assembling an army of 80,000 men, an enormous number at that time. Dusan marched towards Constantinople, capturing Adrianople in a fierce battle. The Serbian army was proceeding to Constantinople, located 40 miles to the east, when Dusan suddenly died of an unknown illness at 46. His expedition ended as well, and the army retreated carrying his body. Reign of Stefan Uroš V Dusan was succeeded by his son, Stefan Uroš V, called the Weak, 
a term that also described the empire as it slowly slid into feudal anarchy. The failure to consolidate its holdings after a sudden conquest led to the fragmentation of the empire. The period was marked by the rise of a new threat, the Ottoman Turkish Sultanate gradually spread from Asia to Europe and conquered first Byzantine Thrace, and then the other Balkan states. Too incompetent to sustain the empire created by his father, Stefan V could neither repel attacks of foreign enemies nor combat the independence of his nobility. The Serbian Empire of Stefan V fragmented into a conglomeration of principalities, some of which did not even nominally acknowledge his rule. Stefan Uroš V died childless on 4 December 1371, after much of the Serbian nobility had been killed by the Ottoman Turks during the Battle of Maritza. Aftermath and legacy The crumbling Serbian Empire under Uroš the Weak offered little resistance to the powerful Ottomans. In the wake of internal conflicts and decentralization of the state, the Ottomans defeated the Serbs under Vukasin at the Battle of Maritza in 1371, making vassals of the southern governors. Soon thereafter, the emperor died. As Uroš was childless and the nobility could not agree on a rightful heir, the empire continued to be ruled by semi independent provincial lords, who often were in feud with each other. The most powerful of these, Lazar, a duke of present-day central Serbia which had not yet come under Ottoman rule, stood against the Ottomans at the Battle of Kosovo in 1389. The result was indecisive, but it led to the subsequent fall of Serbia. Stefan Lazarevich, the son of Lazar, succeeded as ruler, but by 1394 he had become an Ottoman vassal. In 1402 he renounced Ottoman rule and became an Hungarian ally. The following years are characterized by a power struggle between the Ottomans and Hungary over the territory of Serbia. In 1453, the Ottomans conquered Constantinople, and in 1458 Athens was taken. In 1459, Serbia was annexed, and then Greece a year later. With the fall of Serbia, migrations began to the north. Serbs became mercenaries in foreign armies and fought in the irregular militias and guerrilla units of Hajduks and Askoks within the Balkans Habsburg monarchy, while others joined the Hussars, Semeni, and Strachoti. Jovan Nenad, a Serbian military commander in service to Hungary, proclaimed himself emperor in 1527, ruling a region of southern Pannonian plain. Administration. Topic. Topic. Law. Topic. After finishing most of his conquests, Stefan Dusan dedicated himself to supervising the administration of the empire. One key objective was to create a written legal code, an effort his predecessors had only begun. An assembly of bishops, nobles, and provincial governors was charged with creating a code of laws, bringing together the customs of the Slav countries. Dusan's code was enacted in two state congresses, the first on May 21, 1349 in Skopje, the second amended the code in 1354 in Ser. The law regulated all social spheres, thus it is considered a medieval constitution. The code included 201 articles, based on Roman Byzantine law. The legal transplanting is notable with the articles 172 and 174 of Dusan's code, which regulated juridical independence. They were taken from the Byzantine Code Basilica Book 7, 1, 16 The code had its roots in the first Serbian constitution—Saint Sava. S. Nomokanon from 1219, enacted by Saint Sava. Saint Sava's Nomokanon was the compilation of civil law, based on Roman law and canon law, based on ecumenical councils. Its basic purpose was to organize the functions of the state and church. The legislation resembled the feudal system then prevalent in Western Europe, with an aristocratic basis and establishing a wide distinction between nobility and peasantry. The monarch had broad powers but was surrounded and advised by a permanent council of magnates and prelates. The court, chancellery, and administration were rough copies of those of Constantinople. The code enumerated the administrative hierarchy as following lands, cities, zupas, and krahistes. The zupas and krahistes were one and the same, where zupas on the borders were called krahistes. 
The Zupa consisted of villages, and their status, rights, and obligations were regulated in the constitution. The ruling nobility possessed hereditary allodial estates, which were worked by dependent zebra, the equivalent of Greek paroikoi, peasants owing labor services, formally bound by decree. The earlier Zupan title was abolished and replaced with the Greek derived kephalia. Kephale, head, master. Economy Commerce was another object of Dusan's concern. He gave strict orders to combat piracy and to assure the safety of travelers and foreign merchants. Traditional relations with Venice were resumed, with the port of Ragusa becoming an important transaction point. Exploitation of mines produced appreciable resources. East west Roman roads through the empire carried a variety of commodities wine, manufactures, and luxury goods from the coast, metals, cattle, timber, wool, skins, and leather from the interior. This economic development made possible the creation of the empire. Important trade routes were the ancient Roman Via Militaris, Via Ignatia, Via Desenta, and the Copanic Road, among others. Ragusan merchants in particular had trading privileges throughout the realm – Srebrenica, Rudnik, Trepka, Novo Brdo, Kopanik, Majdanpik, Brescovo, and Samakov were the main centers for mining iron, copper, and lead ores, and silver and gold placers. The silver mines provided much of the royal income, and were worked by slave labor, managed by Saxons. A colony of Saxons worked the Novo Brdo mines and traded charcoal burners. The silver mines processed an annual $0.5 million comparison. East Serbia had mainly copper mines. The currency used was called dinars, an alternative name was purper, derived from the Byzantine hyperpyron. The golden dinar was the largest unit, and the imperial tax was one dinar coin, per house, annually. <laughs> Military Topic. Serbian military tactics consisted of wedge-shaped heavy cavalry attacks with horse archers on the flanks. Many foreign mercenaries were in the Serbian army, mostly Germans as cavalry and Spaniards as infantry. The army also had personal mercenary guards for the Tsar, mainly German knights. A German nobleman, Palman, became the commander of the Serbian Alemannic Guard. In 1331 upon crossing Serbia on the way to Jerusalem, he became leader of all mercenaries in the Serbian army. The main strength of the Serbian army were the heavily armoured knights feared for their ferocious charge and fighting skills, as well as hussars, versatile light cavalry formations armed mainly with spears and crossbows, ideal for scouting, raiding and skirmishing. <laughs> State insignia The 1339 map by Angelino Dulcert depicts a number of flags, and Serbia is represented by a flag placed above Skoplia with the name Serbia near the hoist, which was characteristic for capital cities at the time the drawing was produced. The flag, depicting a red double-headed eagle, represented the realm of Stefan Dusan. A flag in Holandar, seen by Dmitrija Avramovic, was alleged by the Brotherhood to have been a flag of Emperor Dusan, it was a triband with red at the top and bottom and white in the center. Emperor Dusan also adopted the imperial divelion, which was purple and had a golden cross in the center. Another of Dusan's flags was the imperial cavalry flag, kept at the Holandar monastery on Mount Athos, a triangular bicolored flag, of red and yellow. Gallery Topic Topic Culture Topic Topic Education Topic Education, to which Saint Sava had given the first impulse, progressed remarkably during Dusan's reign. Schools and monasteries secured royal favor. True seats of culture, they became institutions in perpetuating Serbian national traditions. The fine arts, influenced by Italians, were not neglected. Fragments of frescoes and mosaics testify the artistic level archived during this period. <laughs> Religion 
Influenced by the clergy, Dusan showed extreme severity towards Roman Catholicism. Those who adopted the Latin rite were condemned to work in mines, and people who propagated it were threatened with death. The papacy grew concerned about this and the increasing power of Dusan and aroused the old rivalry of the Catholic Hungarians against the Orthodox Serbs. Once again Dusan overcame his enemies from whom he seized Bosnia and Herzegovina, which marked the height of the Serbian Empire in Middle Ages. However the most serious menace came from the east, from the Turks. Entrenched on the shores of the Dardanelles, the Turks were the common enemies of Christendom. It was against them that the question of uniting and directing all forces in the Balkans to save Europe from the invasion arose. The Serbian Empire already included most of the region, and to transform the peninsula into a cohesive whole under a rule of a single master required seizure of Constantinople to add to Serbia what remained of the Byzantine Empire. Dusan intended to make himself emperor and defender of Christianity against the Islamic wave. Government Emperors, and co ruler Stefan Dusan Stefan Uroš V Co ruler Vukasin of Serbia with the title of King 1365 designated heir Prince Marko with the title of Young King. 1369–1371 For a list of magnates, feudal lords and officials, see Nobility of the Serbian Empire See also Serbia in the Middle Ages Serbian nobility conflict References Topic. Topic. Sources. Topic. Dusan D. Alimpic, 1921. Upravna vlasti u staraj srpskoj karavini. Public domain. Batakovic, Dusan T. Ed. 2005. Histoire du pupil serbi. History of the Serbian people in French. Lausanne, Lage Dum. Serkovic, Sima. The Serbs. Malden, Blackwell Publishing. Dvornik, Francis. The Slavs in European History and Civilization. New Brunswick, Rutgers University Press. Fine, John van Antwerp, Jr. The Late Medieval Balkans A Critical Survey from the Late 12th Century to the Ottoman Conquest. Ann Arbor, Michigan: University of Michigan Press. Gavrilovic, Zaga, 2001. Studies in Byzantine and Serbian Medieval Art. London: The Pindar Press. Nickel, Donald M., 1993, 1972. The Last Centuries of Byzantium, 1261 to 1453. Cambridge: Cambridge University Press. Nickel, Donald M., 1996. The Reluctant Emperor, a biography of John Cantacuzene, Byzantine Emperor and Monk, c. 1295–1383. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Orbini, Mauro Il regno de gli slavi hagi caratamente detti schiavoni. Passaro, Appresso Girolamo Concordia. Orban Mavro 1968. Kralovistvo Slovena. Biograd Srpska Nizevna Zadruga. Obolensky, Dmitry The Byzantine Commonwealth, Eastern Europe, 500-1453. London, Cardinal. Ostrogorsky, George History of the Byzantine State. Oxford, Basil Blackwell. Popovic, Tatiana Prince Marko, the hero of South Slavic epics. New York, Syracuse University Press. Sedler, Jean W. East Central Europe in the Middle Ages, 1000–1500. Seattle, University of Washington Press. Solis, George Christos The Serbs and Byzantium during the reign of Tsar Stephen Dusan and his successors. Washington, Dumbarton Oaks Library and Collection. Further reading 
Topic Solovjev A V 1926 D V A Priloga Prokovanju Dusanov Drzavi Glasnik Skopskog Naknog Drustva I S V 1 to 2 Topic External links Topic Media related to Serbian Empire at Wikimedia Commons <laughs>